Good afternoon, friends. In previous class, we discussed about arithmetic progression and some applications from arithmetic progression. Let us we continue uh, with the pro with those uh, applications from that exercise based on arithmetic progression. So let me continue, friends. Here, as we know, basic concepts of arithmetic progression. Uh, we will apply the same thing here uh, to solve the problems uh, from arithmetic progressions. So let us we discuss, students. Here, uh, it is given 17th uh, uh, problem. But if you have any doubt regarding rest of the problems, you can ask me next class. So it is given in 17th question that 17th question is that a man start repaying a loan from first installment has 100 rupees. And every time increased by uh, 5 rupees. So, what is the amount he has to pay in 13th installment? According to problem, A is 100 and D is uh, A2 minus A1 is equal to 105 minus 105. And then after A30 is A plus 29D. As we know, A n equals to A plus 9 minus 1 into D. That is equals to 100 plus 29 into 5. That is equals to 100 plus 145, 245. He has to pay 30th installment, installment uh, as uh, 245 rupees. So this is the way to solve this. Let us we continue with another problem. First we will take the AP, which is in AP. A value, find a D value, substitute in this, and then we get a A30 resulting in the tenth installment. Let me continue next problem, students, which is uh, based on arithmetic progression only. Here, 18th question is given that, 18th question is given that, here, uh, the difference, uh, difference uh, of, uh, difference between A2 comes here to interior angles of a polygon is 5 centimeters. See, 5 degrees, if the smallest angle is 120 degrees and uh, find the number of sides of a polygon. Here it is given that in a polygon, difference uh, of uh, difference uh, between any two consecutive, consecutive angles is 5 degrees. So, then after smallest angle it is mentioned 120 degrees, smallest angle is 120 degrees, this we can take D, this we can take A and uh, sum of, sum of angles of a polygon with the N sides with n sides n is we doesn't know that is defined as 180 of n minus 2 and then we have to equate according to problem in an ap sn is defined as n by 2 of 2a plus n minus 1 into d according to problem that is equal 180 of n minus 2 uh, next, uh, n of 2 into a value as we know smallest 1, 120, n value we have to know 5. So let me send to that side, it becomes into multiplication, we get 183, 360 n minus 720. So now if you multiply this, 240 n plus n of 5 n minus 5 equals to 360n minus 720. If you simplify friends, 5n square minus 5n plus 240n, write all terms to one side of equality to solve n value. So finally we have 125n if you simplify minus 720 is equal to 0. 5 is factorized uh, as we know. So we get if you solve uh, n square minus 25n minus 144 equals to 0 by 50. If you solve this quadratic equation students, 
you will get n value we can write it as uh, by using splitting of middle term method or else any method you can do so we have n minus 16 minus 9 of this is plus two x this is plus sorry so we have n minus 16 equal to 0 so here n is possible uh, n r n minus 1 equal to 0 n is equal to 16 or 9 n is equal to 16 is not uh, possible because if you take n is equal to 16 uh, according to definition a 16 is equal to a 15 b which is uh, 120 plus 16 into 5 195 degrees which is greater than 180 so not possible so number of sites uh, of a given polygon equals to 9 so 9 sites are possible so number of sites of given polygon are 9 in this manner we need to solve the question friends once again i'll repeat for you take a difference between any two concrete angles as b smallest angle as pa sum of angles of a polygon with n side is defined as 180 of n minus 2 then substitute the value simplify we get a quadratic equation solve it we got n is equal 16 n is equal 9 also but 16 is not possible because it is 180 greater than 180 so n is equal 9 only possible so n number of sides of polygon equals to 9 so now i will introduce about uh, basic concepts of geometric progression as well as we will start the questions of that so this is a brief explanation about that if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask me next class so let us we discuss about geometric progression as you have learned earlier class uh, arithmetic progression by adding this with a constant term uh, with a term it is maybe constant or variable we will get the next term except first term it is applicable but in geometric progression or geometric mean geometric i mean geometric progression or sequence also so simply we can write gp in geometric pro geometric progression is uh, uh, nothing but uh, writing an order of terms uh, we'll get the succeeding term by multiplying with the specific term so the terms uh, form of terms form of terms uh, will be a ar ar square ar cube so on ar power n minus 1 so r is called as common ratio which is defined by a2 by a1 a3 by a2 so on an by an minus 1 nth term is defined as a power n minus 1 sum of term is defined as a of 1 minus r power n 1 minus r 1 is less than r i mean when 1 is greater than r Sn equals to E of R power N minus 1 by R minus 1, uh, where uh, R is greater than 1. S infinite defined as sum of infinite term is defined as A by 1 minus R. And we have even geometric mean as the arithmetic mean. Geometric mean of uh, geometric mean uh, of E and B is defined as root ab arithmetic mean already we know it is defined as a plus b by 2 so the relationship between arithmetic mean and geometric mean is am is greater than or equal to gm by using these formulas and the concept we will solve the problems from 9.3 also once again i am saying this is the form of terms this is common ratio a and the term our last term or uh, general term s n formula students when n is greater than r when r is greater than 1 we will use this either this or this any one formula we can use that accordingly or if you use this formula so automatically if it is greater than also it can cancel and you will get positive sum of infinite terms in a geometric progression is defined as a by 1 minus r and geometric mean also we have if two term numbers are given geometric mean is defined as root of a b 
then am is we know a plus b by 2 so a arithmetic mean and geometric mean are related correlated that arithmetic mean always greater than or equal to geometric mean let us we discuss problems on geometric progression from exercise 9.3 the next class will continue with this so exercise 9.3 first problem it is given that it is given that um, uh, find 20 terms and the nth term of a geometric progression where the terms are given 5 by 2 5 by 4 5 by 8 and from we can verify whether it is geometric progression or not also if it is given by finding its common ratio of course already it is given geometric progression as we know first term a is 5 by 2 common ratio is defined as a2 by a1 or a3 by a2 that is up to you 5 by 4 so if you take students 5 5 cancel to 1 that 1 2 2 the so r is 1 by 2 a20 is defined as a power 20 minus 1 a power 9 or 19 so as we know 5 by 2 and uh, r is uh, 1 by 2 whole power 19 as we know this is 1 1 power anything 1 only so we can write 5 by by using graph of exponent it will be 5 by 2 power 20 so let us be continue how to find a n and we will do one more progression on that so a n according to formula a power n minus 1 a already we know 5 by 2 1 by 2 whole power 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1 so for 1 whatever power 5 only and then 1 only 2 power 1 2 power n minus 1 which is 1 plus n minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 cancel 2 power 1 plus n minus 1 cancel 5 power 2 5 by 2 power n so a n is defined as 5 by 2 power n in this manner we will solve the problems in geometric progression students so let us we continue with second problem then we will just stop and we will continue next class a20 and we need to find a given a geometric progression first a let us we take r value find by using formula a2 by a1 or a3 by a2 after doing we got a value 1 by 2 see r value r value we got r value we got 1 by 2 a20 is defined as a power in a and actually a in formula is a power a r power n a into r power n minus 1 substitute n value as 20 we get a a r power 19 then simplification we got a 20 as 5 by 2 power 20 similarly and we got a 5 by 2 power n let us be continuous please So here uh, twelfth term of a GP not, uh, find a twelfth term of GP if a eighth term it is defined as in this manner that is one ninety two or is given as common ratio to substitute and find a value then after we need to find a twelfth that is nothing but a r power n this formula we used here students so uh, a, a is we doesn't know but 2 power uh, we get here we can write a r power 7 also so 2 power 7 equals to 192 right as the prime factorization 96 48 24 12 3 so we can write 2 power 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 power 6 into 3 for our convenience and to this side and 2 power 7 we have 2 power 7 to cancel 2 power 6 by using loss of exponents we can write 2 into 2 power 6 as we know cancel a is equal to 3 by 2 we got a value 3 by 2 already we know odd value now we need to find a 12 which is a r power 11 a is 3 by 2 whole power 2 power 11 that is equals to for our convenience we can write it as 2 power 3 into 2 power 11 minus 1 a power m by a power m formula 2 power 10 
a twelve equal to three into two power ten is one thousand twenty four. If you multiply, we get three thousand seven hundred. Three thousand. Three thousand seventy two. So a twelve is three thousand seventy two. In this manner, we will find the required numbers or required terms by using basic concepts and formulas of geometric progression students thank you i'm concluding with this students thank you if you have any doubt you can ask me next class thank you